He's been down this road before, three times in fact. Brother Martin's Paul Klein wrestling for an unprecedented fourth individual state title. But doing so this time, like he has all season, with a torn ACL in his right knee. If the knees bothered him, with a 43-0 record, you sure couldn't tell. A superior tactician, Klein took an early 4-1 lead over his opponent at 132, sophomore Joey Foray of Holy Cross. Up. In the third and final period, there were some anxious moments when Klein injured his knee, not the one with the torn ACL. What happened, man? Popped. The other knee popped? But Klein regrouped and hung on for a 10-5 decision, becoming a state champion for a record fourth straight time. Greatest feeling ever. It's, it's been tough. Uh, my coaches, my teammates, my mom and my dad, they uh, definitely helped me out with my uh, mental stuff. Because at first I was kind of uneasy, but then um, I really just put it together and trained. Phenomenal. The, kid, the kids have the greatest career in Louisiana wrestling history. From Brother Martin High School, Becoming Louisiana's first four-time individual state champion despite a torn ACL before the season doesn't get much better than that, or does it? Paul Klein has actually talked about being on the top step of that podium four years in a row since he was in grade school. Paul Klein started working for me at the state wrestling tournament when he was in the fifth grade. Every year he worked two solid days with us, setting up mats, cleaning mats, working the areas, working with the teams, cleaning up, and always was exposed to it. What he started to see back then was there's not that many three-time state champions, but there was no four-timers. And he used to look at me as a little guy and say, I'm going to be a four-timer. He's going to go into Arizona State's college room, and he's going to excel. And the next time I'm sitting in a big arena watching Paul Klein wrestle, I'm going to be watching him wrestle at the NCAA tournament. Uh, well, I'm glad it ended the way it did, but it's always going to be remembered. Serving up a little dose of history from the Pontchartrain Center in Kenner, Eric Ritchie for CST Tonight.